Hey Kate, it's Mike with Real Life Photography. Thanks for sending over some images for me to edit. Um, I'm going to do these all with RLP and we'll see what kind of results we get. So here we go. Alright, so try to 800 ISO. I might end up dropping the grain out of the preset just, just so that we, uh, we minimize the grain. Right, so we'll just do some one clicks through real quick, and then we'll, uh, and then I'll choose the one that I think works the best, and then we'll we'll go from there. P one, two, three is a little too blue for this, I think, and four, too much magenta, and still too much magenta. So I think we'll go with one. Brighten it up a little bit. Warm it up. Everybody knows I like to edit warm. Drop the tint down a little bit. And then I believe I'm going to crop down. And then I'm going to can the grain. And I like that. She has excellent. I mean, I think the skin tones turned out excellently. So. Um, I mean, to me, that's almost one of the, probably one of the most important things aside from over vibrant colors is the skin tone remains intact. Right, let's move on to number two. Sorry, I had to go on pause for a second, um, but I, I kind of lost my track. But it looks like this is straight out of camera. I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit and then we'll kind of go through. This is similar lighting as the first one. But I'll edit it a little bit different just just so you can see there is options. Not too much. And I'm gonna drop the grain out as well. You can see the change in the grain a little bit. Just because it was shot at ISO 800 sometimes it's a little tough depending on your camera body <clears throat> and sometimes I'm going to tweak this just a little bit just because sometimes blues can become too blue I'll just drop that down a little bit and then I'm going to raise the luminance a little bit as well and I'm happy with that one so this one I like this one a lot you do have uh, there's obviously blown highlights right here but you're probably exposing for their faces so what I'm gonna try to do is recover a little bit of those use the third preset here I'm gonna straighten a little I'm gonna try to recover a little bit just highlights just a little bit it's just a little bit too far gone and then particularly in this I don't know if you use the, the gradient the radial filter at all. Let's invert this back. And then I think I'm gonna raise that up. I'm gonna raise shadows a little bit. Just a touch of warmth. And play a touch of magenta. And I like how that is. So everything's fading off into the shadows on the right and the left, and but you still have nice exposure on their faces and you can brush this a little bit too just a just a little bit more I think and it would be even better alright and the last one let's see I think we will use a brush on this one use one it still has some warmth. Drop highlights down just a little bit. And these are all one, I mean for the most part it's all been one click here with adjustments to white balance and exposure obviously. And then I think from here I'm just gonna white, uh, lighten up his face a little bit and lighten up her face a little bit. And just add a little bit of exposure there and I might up the shadows a little bit on this dodge brush here and I think I'm gonna 
the tint down a little bit just to address some of the reds in the skin. Oops. Here. And let's take a look at the crop. Let's oops. So I'm going to try to get this over to here. I'm going to chop some fingers, which bothers me, but let's see. It's about as far as I can go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it like that. I mean, cropping is obviously to taste. Uh, I don't like cropping off fingers and all that stuff, so I think if I... If I if you had the opportunity to reshoot something like this again, I think I would just step back a little bit further so that you can get the appropriate crop on there. And what I was looking at is kind of the connection between dad and his daughter and trying to get that into the uh, the cross sections of the, the golden ratio. So uh, <clears throat> I hope you like the edits. Um, if you if you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot me any, uh, a message on Facebook and I'll be happy to help you. Uh, once you purchase or even before you purchase or anything like that if you just have questions on the edits that I did just now um, or maybe see something that you would like to see a little bit different uh, just let me know and I'll see if I can uh, help you manipulate the presets to get the look that you're looking for have a good weekend